All right, now we should have audio. Man. should have audio. Oh, there's my own audio coming back at me. That's great. Hi, everybody. Oh, my good God. Twitch is now... I, I forgot that I'm a Twitch affiliate. Flying Dutch, you subscribe to Tier 1. Sheep, you subscribe to Tier 1. Thanks you so much. Audio and loud. Okay, well, maybe I can do something about that. All right, give me a second. You know, when you don't use the streaming gear for a while, it goes crusty. So many updates and changes and everything. should be better now. Whew. I completely forgot that I'm a, um, a Twitch affiliate now, so people can actually like subscribe and apparently ads are playing on Twitch right now. I didn't ask for that. All right. I'll wait for the ads to finish on Twitch. I'll need to set up those settings properly so that people don't get too many ads. But yeah, I finally um, streamed enough to become a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> which I never intended on doing. But, uh, hey, whatever. Sound is on, hello. No ads here, good, okay. Um, then let's, um, let's do this. Boom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Amsterdam. Specifically Outvest. I was going to my P.O. box, which they moved away the hell out here. And then I just took a piss in this flask scroll, and we're on our way. You can pick either pre-roll ads when someone joins the stream or rolling ads. I think I might do pre-roll. But yes, it's actually sunny, believe it or not. Oh, DHL guy using the plus scroll will just turn away. <laughs> uh, okay, give me a second here. All right. Well, yes, pee box. They are useful. There's not enough public toilets in this country, so the few plus krull that we have, I'm grateful for. Plus krullen. Oh, yeah, the street's closed down there. I'm not going that way. Anyway, I don't have a lot of time, actually. I need to be out in Oost in, like, an hour, I think, at the hospital. So, um... But I just thought I would stream for a little bit, because holy shit, look at this weather, man. Like, seriously. This is not the Netherlands. This is like fucking California or something. Yes, lovely day today. And so I thought, wish I should really bring the streaming gear. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. Um, the other thing is, I have, uh, somewhere around here, I have a radar detector. So I bought a radar detector a while ago. Pre-rolls on Twitch are awful for first-time viewers. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe I should just turn off the ads completely. Like, do I really care? Can I turn off the ads completely? Because I don't really care about giving Amazon any more money. I am wearing my kind of winter coat, not like my Canadian winter coat, but I still find like in the shade and when I'm moving, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit chilly, but I get, I get cold easily despite being Canadian. I don't think you turn them off completely anymore. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'll have to do something to lose my affiliate status. So, uh, which, uh, which slurs should I start using so I lose my affiliate status? So this is Odevest, and this is actually funny because um, this was the street that we um, stayed on the first when my family came to visit Amsterdam for the first time to consider uh, to consider 
living here. Radar detectors are illegal. Yes, this isn't a radar detector. This is a radar. So radar detectors in cars are illegal for detecting radar, but this is a radar, like a speed gun, and they are not illegal. In fact, uh, there are organizations in the Netherlands that encourage you to do speed checks on your street and things like that. So uh, it's illegal to detect the radar, but it's not illegal to use radar. So I do have a radar gun and I want to, because I got it because, you know, Amsterdam changed everything. Oh man, this is just so goddamn beautiful. I never come out here. Look at this, look at, look at this shit. Look at this shit, you see this? You see this? There is a reason why so many tourists come here. <laughs> Let me uh, increase the font size on this chat maybe. It's not just because I'm old, but also because I'm on a bike. That's better. But anyway, um, Amsterdam changed uh, like most of the roads in the city to 30 kilometers an hour in December. And so I bought the radar detector to find out on which roads people are actually going 30. And I suspect that it will be based on the road design. That is my hypothesis. I want to make a video about the 30 kilometer per hour switch, but I didn't think it was very interesting to just make a video saying they changed to 30 kilometers an hour. Like, that doesn't really need to be said. I want to actually go out there with a radar detector and find out which streets people actually drive 30. Because people are driving 30 on some of them. I've noticed a slowdown in cars for sure. Ah, looks like it's hot. It's, I wouldn't say it's hot, but it's nice. Looks like a truck passing by, yeah. Oh, kind of rattly here on the bike. Man, more beautiful canals. Look at this shit. Anyway, I should figure out where I'm going. I don't want to end up in Tourist Central, but... You know what, I'm just going to go out here. Yeah, I mean, look, people people are driving slower since the 30 kilometers per hour. I've, I've seen it, I've noticed it, but certainly if you go along like, actually this is exactly where I should have gone, I should go out to the ring road, eh? Um, if you go out to like Stadthauderskada, like Maritzkada, kind of, no, nobody's driving 30 there. Yeah, you're gonna go drive by at 50 just so I can get footage? That's very nice of you. Like, obviously people are driving 30 on a street like this. But this was always 30. This wasn't one, one of the ones that changed. I mean, not always, I don't know. Maybe in the 1960s, this was 70 or some shit, but. <laughs> but it was not one of the ones that changed in December. What's the rattling? Uh, I think it's actually, I bought a bottle of water at Albert Hein, at the Appy. And I think that's probably what's rattling, because this is this bike rattles, but not that much. Well, the huge fines help convincing people to drive slower. Yes, that's true. But people definitely aren't driving 30 on like Stotzhauter's Kata, so that's, a, I think we'll go out there. All right, let's put the bottle of water in the panniers and maybe it'll rattle us. It certainly got busier. Okay, okay. That seems to be working. Just give me a second here. Yeah, all right, everything's working fine. I am using a different app for um, for chat now. Instead of Restream, I'm using this this thing called Stream something or other. You know this one? Stream Buddy? Anyway, I'm trying Stream Buddy. American Feats, <laughs> uh, American Feats are DMing me. I'm going to leak DMs on this uh, live stream. 
man, your stream is so clean and crisp on YouTube. Now I'm frustrated again. No, you know why it's clean and crisp? Because I'm using two mobile networks. I'm telling you, man. That's the only way this shit works, is with two mobile networks. American Feet Sir, if you don't follow him already, you should. He, um, he does some great videos out of Carmel, Indiana, in the US, uh, but he started live streaming from his buck feets in the US, which is kind of fun. So go check him out, American Feet Sir. Either way, 30 is a big win for the city, despite whoever AT5 might interview. <laughs> AT5, man, they, they really do go out and find like the dumbest, most ignorant people and stick a microphone in front of them and say like, this is what, <laughs> this is what everybody thinks. All right. Uh, yeah, Amsterdam Central. You know, it was a really dumb idea to come out here on a nice summer's, not summer, spring's day. Because all the tourists are out. And there's all this construction here too. This was just really dumb. Why did I come this way? Chat, why did you make me come this way? Clean the lens. All right, I can do that, give me a second. It's probably, you know what? The lens is probably still filthy from New Year's, right? I think that was the last IRL stream I did. Although the lens is also just filthy in general. There's something wrong with this. Eventually I'm gonna need to get a new camera. Hey, look at this, the feet's flop is still here, eh? The parking? The lens may not be cleanable because it might be that little bubble of uh, condensation that's stuck inside of it that you're seeing. <sighs> Pretty sure American Feetzer said he was using two modems too. Well, it's possible. I do find this Sony camera in good light. I mean, it's ancient. This is the, what, the X3000 or whatever, but it's a, it's a great camera. They have, it hasn't been made in like six years or something. Anyway, th there's the Feet's Flop. That used to be the parking for Amsterdam Central, right? But then they um, closed it down when they opened up the parking garage that I made a video about. And, uh, and it's, but it's still here. Some people were asking to have it made a historical monument. It was only ever supposed to be temporary. It was only ever supposed to be there for two years and it ended up being there for, I don't know, Jack can tell me, 15 years, 20 years. Yeah, it seems stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm probably gonna have to switch to one of my, my GoPro Hero 7 or something. It's so annoying. It's so hard to find an action cam that has clean HDMI out, like, starting with the Hero 8, I think, or maybe it was a Hero 9, um, when you connect HDMI, it brings up this interface with like viewing your pictures on the TV, which is not what you want when you want to use the HDMI for live streaming. So like in and around the time the Hero 8 was released, action cams became useless for uh, live streaming. And so everyone uses these ancient cameras like this. So when I get condensation on it, there isn't shit all I can do. Can't go buy a new one. No, thanks to whoever pointed out the smudge. Now I can't unsee it. That's great. Yeah, when you find hardware perfect for your project and they stopped making it 17 years ago. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's go out maybe. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just, I have to end up in Oost anyway. So let's just kind of head out Oostish and see how the, um, oh shit, this road's closed too. Okay, I just want to get to at least one big road that was converted to 30 kilometers an hour so I can test to see if my radar detector works. My speed camera thing. What are they called? Radar speed thing gun thingy. That. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're just going around, going to go around Amsterdam Central if I could just get across the fucking street. I didn't realize this is all under construction. I almost never come to the Binnestad because there's like no reason for me to come here and it's just swarming with tourists. What radar speed gun did I get? I got that one that everybody gets. Where is it actually? The Bushnell one. This one. This thing. Hmm? Brandishing a firearm here. <laughs> 
April 1st, 2001, the Feats plot opened. Holy crap. That is over 20 years old. Wow, it was supposed to be, from my understanding, it was supposed to be uh, there for two or three years, temporarily, but it ended up becoming permanent, of course, because as the saying goes, there's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. I hate crossing this road. I can't believe I even need to cross this road. Fuck. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's all under construction. I'm sure there was a better way around, but I'm just following my little N here, telling me which way to go. And we can go around the back of Amsterdam Central. Tipster. Hello there. Hello, tipster. <sighs> this used to be a road, eh? Uh, so this is originally the road behind the station, and then they um, replaced it with that tunnel over there. I, I think they probably just should have cut off through traffic completely, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, but this is, is obviously way better than a road. This is a bit of a clusterfuck here, with, like now when the ferries get out, there's so many people, there's tourists walking around. This woman doesn't know if I'm going to run her down. Shared space, people. Shared space. It, it works, but you do have to pay attention. And, yeah, not just walk like that guy. Yeah, there is a tunnel under the station, but I'm going to go over to Oath. I'm just going to skip. I don't want to ride through the, the Binistad on a nice day. It's going to be crazy busy. Yeah, and it's probably closed down there, too. I don't know where the... Um, I don't know where the uh, construction is out there. GoPro moved the raw HDMI stuff to a media mod thing. Yeah, I remember I had the media mod for the Hero 9, I think. I had some issues with it too. It was really flaky and it's also really big and bulky. What the f is up with that Snorfeats behind me? Could that be any louder? Okay, I'm gonna stop and see what this thing is. He's just on a flat out fucking dirt bike. That's awesome. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, this whole area is under construction. As I said, I like never get out here. I have no reason to come here unless I'm, you know, I, I go to Amsterdam Central. I was there because I took the train out to Hamburg the other week, but I never come out. You know, I just metro to the Central and then straight up to the trains. But yeah, this is a big freaking mess out here. And there's another parking garage out here, right? I don't know, I've been in it, I filmed it. Well, that was back there, I guess. Damn, this feed spot is fucking huge now. Holy shit, look at the size of this thing. Oh, this is awesome. This is because the other ferry's here. All right, but again, I'm not gonna stream for too long. I also have a second problem um, with my camera here. What the fuck, dude? Just driving his dirt bike around. Oh. Dear Lord. I thought Snorfeets were banned from the bike path in Amsterdam. Yeah, but they are. And that's not a Snorfeets, that's just a fucking motorcycle. No, that's a, not even a Brumfeets. Uh, actually, they are allowed on this bike path, I guess, because that road is considered too dangerous for them. This must be one of the exceptions. I did visit uh, Miniature of Wunderland. I should really make a... Um, I should really make like a, like a Nebula video about that, because I took a bunch of video of Miniature of Wunderland. Anyway, nice to get out of the construction, and I'll head over to, like, Oost. Um, yep. 
going this way. It's windy out here. It's a good thing the microphone has that dead cat on it. The road microphones are pretty good for not picking up wind. Yeah, so I guess Bromfietzen are allowed to ride on this path? I wonder what they're gonna do with this road off here to the right. Cause I know there's been talk about making it 30 kilometers an hour. What's the best city outside of Amsterdam? That's debatable. A lot of people um, say Utrecht. I like Utrecht. Although it shows some scars from the 1960s too. The temporary train stop is going to be there for five years or so, damn. So that means it's going to be there for 25 years. <laughs> um, let's see now, where are we? Prince Hendrik, I don't think I want to go in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this around. Yeah. That's good. Utrecht is nice, Delft, yeah. Delft is quite a small town though, eh? Leiden too. I've never been to Maastricht. I was supposed to go um, the other week, but um, just didn't get around to it. Family wasn't feeling so well and the weather was garbage and I thought, you know what, let's just do it another time. Did you ever get a new buck feeds? No, I'm not gonna get a new buck feeds. I'm gonna run them. I'm gonna run the buck feeds of Theseus into the ground. Eventually, I will have to drag it to a, a fall punt someday. But I'm not gonna get a new one. There's no point in getting a new buck feeds because um, our kids are old enough to ride on their own. And so the buck feeds is used for like, I don't know, like bringing luggage to when we go to the airport and taking stuff to the recycling depot and stuff like that. I, I still like riding the, the buck feeds. I enjoy it. So I sometimes ride it just for the hell of it, but we don't strictly need a buck feed, so I wouldn't buy a new one if when this one finally gives up the ghost. Goedemiddag, Frosty Shadow. Ah, there's some, um, so many new buildings up on this side. I don't really get out here very often. I did have an interview for a job in here once. Never went anywhere. And I remember going in here to film when I was filming for the uh, flash delivery, like the 10 minute grocery delivery video. There's one of those Gitteer places around the corner. Maastricht is a very un-Dutch city. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I would like to do that. Do you speak Dutch? Yes, I speak Dutch. God, I've spoken so much frickin' Dutch today, honestly. Like, I get, I, I, um, one of the things that comes up in conversations on, like, Dutch forums is how immigrants, expats, you know, um, don't make friends with Dutch people. Um, it's difficult. And there's all sorts of reasons for that. Also, Dutch people, it's hard to make friends when you're an adult, period. Like, if you move to a new city and try to make friends, whether, and not speaking the language is even bigger. But I, I remember um, a common thing that some Dutch people say is that like, when they're done work, and their work is entirely in English these days, they, they don't wanna go hang out with a bunch of people and speak English, they just wanna speak Dutch. And I can appreciate that. Like when, like I've been speaking Dutch all day, and I'm just kind of like, can I just not speak Dutch for a little bit? I can totally empathize with that. 
please help us send a super chat for six euros. Thank you. Wait, I want to look at this. Does does this app show that super chat like? You know what I really have to do is turn off the colors on people's uh... Everybody has a different colored name on Twitch. But it is not working with this dark mode chat. Okay, I'm going to put it to light mode. That is more readable. Yes, thank you. Thank you, please help. I just want to tell you I'm a huge fan and can't wait to see you pass through my window in like five minutes, lol, if you continue straight. Okay, I'll make sure I wave. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Uh, that's very funny. Um, oh, this app actually shows me like, well, now that I'm in light mode, I can see this stuff properly. I think their dark mode is broken. I can actually see when like first time chatters chat too. That's interesting. I've heard from some of my fr Dutch friends that mixing friend circles is something they definitely do not do. Well, you know, you know, the thing is, like, making friends as an adult is hard. Like, most of your friends you'll make when you're in school, university, and then you pretty much, like, locked that friend group, right? And you'll make friends at work and stuff, and maybe if you join a sports club or something. But, like, your main core friend group are the, like, the people you hung out with in, usually in, like, university or high school. That's just almost all people. Does it show the first badge in Twitch? I don't think so. Um, huh. Because that isn't a first time chatter, but one of your original founding Twitch subscribers. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> unsubscribed and said to Super Chat for two euros. What do you think of British suburbs? Oh, I mean, it depends. Some of the older British suburbs are actually kind of okay. Um, but then you get into like the Milton Keynes. I think the Garden City in the UK had some real promise. I think it was probably a good idea. I think they should have done more for public transportation maybe and certainly more for cycling. But I think the idea, the Garden City suburb, as a suburb was actually pretty sound. So I think that like British suburbs can vary quite drastically. I remember, I've told this anecdote on the stream before, but I remember when I was uh, wanted to move to the UK, I had an offer from a British company in Cambridge and I had an offer from my existing company, ATI, the graphics car company, to relocate to the UK at Milton Keynes. The two offers were very similar, like in terms of uh, salary, responsibility, um, staying at the company I was with, big company versus going to a small startup. But I had to decide between working in, in Cambridge or in Milton Keynes. And I went to the interview in Cambridge and that was all fine. And I saw Cambridge. And then I remember thinking, you know what, I'm gonna go check out Milton Keynes. I stepped out of the train station to Milton Keynes, looked around and said, I'm gonna take the Cambridge job. <laughs> it was literally like that. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not living in Milton Keynes. Oh shit, can't go that way. You ever been to Poland? Polish public transit was really cheap. Yeah, I've been to Poland many times. My wife's family is Polish, so she has uh, extended family there. We've been there a bunch of times. And yes. Public transit in Poland can be quite good. Fuck, the pizza pot is closed down there too. What the hell is going on here? You dodged a bullet there, yeah. No, you turned right. <laughs> Sorry, please help. Um, but the pizza pod was closed. Ah, oh, Jesus, this loops around here. Fuck me. I just want to get out to post. City Nerd just released a video of psychoanalyzing pickup truck drivers. That's funny. Okay, I, I need to I need to pull over here and figure out like where I'm actually going because all of these construction detours in a place I don't normally live or go to live. 
is getting confusing. Also, my Google map seems to have gone to dark mode for some reason on my phone. Even though it's set to always in light theme. I like my phone in dark mode, but I just do not like Google Maps in dark mode. Berlin is a city with lots of cyclists, but that clearly not because of the infrastructure. Yeah, that is true. Left. Tsar Petrusrat. Okay. Okay. That's the Pete Hine Tunnel. NJB, I showed your video of Mississauga to my parents to show exactly why I want to leave this hell and move to Sweden. <laughs> True. Oh my god. That's funny. Alright, so, yeah, I really... Man, I wish the feet spot wasn't closed there. There's probably a detour sign that I missed. But why don't I just go down... I don't know. Where do, where do I want to be, ultimately? I know where I need to be eventually, but let's just go down here. for Come and fly overs and dive unders. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Go back a bit and go right before the train. Yeah? I mean, that's where I came from, and the pizza pot is closed out there. I think I probably just want to go... here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna continue back that way. Yeah, okay. OLVG is straight ahead. Yeah, I don't want to go there yet, though. I'm a bit early for that. Or the viaduct. Yeah, I'm gonna go by the train. It is actually fun to get out to parts of the city that I don't often get out to. I don't know if I've ever even been here before. It doesn't look familiar. I mean, I've been on the other side of the tracks there, of course. But... Where is good in Amsterdam to get a flavor of the city without being swamped by tourists? You just got to get out of the canal ring. The That's all. Oh, he's not going 30. Hey, train! So, okay, I can just turn right here. Fine. There's my home lighting. Have you ever engaged in the helmet discussion? Yeah, I will. I, I will do that. I have a, <laughs> I have a script writ, partially written on the helmet helmet thing. <laughs> Get to it eventually. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to. Even <laughs> so so little interest in, in making that video. To be honest, I keep pushing it off. I mean, I, I have an interest in making the video. I just have no interest in the ensuing discussion around it. Oh my. Dinosaurs and Train video is excellent. Hope there's more UK content soon. Yeah. The Dinosaurs and Train video is super fun. I really wanted to make that. I'm, oh, this is one of the things I'm consciously trying to do in 2024. I'm making the videos I want to make. I'm not looking at like what's going to do well or like what people want. I'm just going to make the videos I want to make. And I wanted to make the Dinosaurs and Train so badly. My son helped with it. He came up with the dinosaur facts. We fact checked them. We had Tier Zoo read them. It was a super fun video to make. Totally not performing well. It's a little too different, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a fun video. And I do want to get back to the UK. I want to get to Stevenage. I want to get back to Cambridge. I used to work there. I want to do a video on that. There's so many videos to do. Post video disable comments, yeah. Oh my God. That is funny. 
yeah anyway i really like the dinosaurs and trains video and I, I want to make more videos like that where it's just like i'm genuinely interested in it it was funny i got some comments that were like you sound different in this video you sound like really enthusiastic and happy and i got other comments that are like you're putting on too much like enthusiasm you know this is so fake and i'm like no i actually wanted to make that video that's what i sound like what <laughs> i want really truly want to make a video it was very funny it was a bit chaotic video, yes. Uh, sheep, yeah. Shape, yeah. Sheep, yeah. Sheep, yeah. I think we decided it was sheep, yeah. Um, oh, there's a brewery die. I should go in for a beer. I oh, don't have time. Next time. I've been come considering just on a nice day just posting a message to the internet and saying, hey, I'm at this place having a beer, come join me and see how many people come. I'm a little bit scared that it could be <laughs> like thousands, <laughs> but with absolutely no notice, it'd be very funny. Well, the dinosaur video made me take the train tomorrow. Good, I hope it goes well for you. The train is awesome when it runs well and it's pretty shit otherwise. First time chat from viewer. I actually like this first time chat. Tino. Tinu? Oh, man, I hate pronouncing people's Twitch names. So nice to see Amsterdam in the sun. I live in the neighborhood. Nice. Oh, and I missed a super chat. I'm glad I went back. Why are NYC and Amsterdam, etc., incentivizing car ownership? Can they please ban car dealerships? Keep those monstrosities in the suburbs. Um, I don't know uh, if Amsterdam's doing anything about car dealerships, but they are doing something about gas stations. Um, uh, most of the gas stations in Amsterdam are owned by the city. The land is owned by the city. Actually, if somebody can find a list of which gas stations are owned by the city and which aren't. I would really appreciate that. I cannot find that. I've been looking for it for months. Um, but all of the city-owned gas stations are going to change to like mobility hubs. They're, they're not going to be allowed to sell gasoline anymore. They're going to... Um, okay, I'm actually going to try the... Um... No, not here. Um... Yeah, they're not going to be able to sell gasoline anymore. They're going to be only electric and they're going to have like shared bikes and stuff like that. So uh, that's the plan, apparently. I don't know how far along that plan is. Do the unannounced meetup in a place outside Amsterdam first, I guess. That'll limit the numbers. Yeah, maybe. But the brewery die reminded me of it. I wanted to go there on like a Tuesday or something and just sit at a table and then put a post out to say, I'm having a beer here. Come join me. Um, <laughs> Which would be fun, I think. Or it could be a really terrible idea. I don't know, there's only one way to find out. This gas station is important for the boats. Well, they're even converting all the boats to electric, right? Because what, as of 2025, you're not allowed to ride a petrol boat in the, in the inner canal ring, I think? My experience is if you use them every day for a commute, you hardly ever have issues. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've taken the train for work uh, as commuting a lot in my life, probably more than any other mode of transportation. And it's very often just works, to be honest. Even in the UK, it worked the vast majority of the time. I did have some rough times where I got stuck in Cambridge. I also once got drunk at the pub and left my bike on the train. You know, things happen. A beer in Amsterdam is amazing. <laughs> It's pretty good, but I got a bit spoiled by uh, Belgium, to be honest, when I was living there. And also, um, my favorite beer is actually English ale. And I just can't get a good English ale in this country like you can in, I don't know, like in the Castle Inn pub in Cambridge. That's, that's, that's what I want. I want to go back to the Castle in Cambridge and just have a pint. Not get hit by a tram. Actually, I'm going to stop here for a sec, have a drink of water and discuss this intersection. I don't know if I've discussed this on stream before, but there used to be traffic lights here a few years ago. What are your thoughts of living in Harlem and commuting to Amsterdam once or twice a week? I mean, that's easy. That's stupidly easy. I know people who live in Harlem and commute to Amsterdam every day. But like Harlem and Amsterdam are basically the same price these days. So live there because you want to, not because you think you're getting a deal. So this junction, that's Artist the Zoo right there. The sound of the intro of your videos is right. So you're saying 
if you have to go getting under trim, isn't what you think. Well, you know, I don't think so. I want my thoughts of trams to be pure. I don't want to end up under one. As much as I love trams, I don't want to spend my last few moments looking at the bottom of one. Uh, yeah, so this intersection used to have traffic lights and this was going on probably seven years ago, I want to say. I don't know exactly, um, but they wanted to remove the traffic lights. And basically, this is Amsterdam, but basically everybody kind of freaked out about this. They're all like, I'm not really sure if that's a good idea, removing traffic lights from this intersection. And there was a lot of debate about it, but they decided to do it as a test. And they just flat out removed the, the, um, remove the stoplights. I mean, they've got trams coming through here. They've got, you see the shark's teeth there showing who has to yield to who. Name is sent to Super Chat, 9.99. Thank you. Mobility hubs, it sounds cool. I wish NYC had that. It's hard finding a public e-bike charger like that in Manhattan. No gas stations, people fuel up in Jersey. Nice. You know, Manhattan, fuck man. Manhattan's annoying to me. It has so much potential. It's just infested with cars and like 70% of households don't own a car there, but you'd never know it. Anyway, yeah, they got rid of the traffic lights here and it actually went okay. So, you know, we can watch it for a while. It's not too busy right now, but they've also cut down a lot of the car traffic, which is, you know, once you cut down the car traffic, what do you need traffic lights for? Because traffic lights are for cars. Yeah, so that guy's yielding to the tram. Tramps always go first, the way it should be. Tram superiority. Is housing in the Netherlands expensive? Yes. But you know what? Um, it's it's interesting. I, I don't I don't like talking about the housing prices with Dutch people because they're like, they're always like, the Netherlands has the most expensive housing in the world, the worst housing crisis, and I'm like, nah, it's actually not as bad as most of Canada, guys. I know this is like your first housing crisis, but we've been doing this in Toronto for like 30 years, which doesn't make it better, it just makes it difficult to talk about. So yes, it is expensive here, but like. Compared to many other big cities in the world, like compared to Toronto, it's actually kind of cheap here, which is frightening. But it is still too expensive. Manhattan is getting a congestion charge soon. Yeah, that's right. I actually kind of like this chat program, I gotta say. This is pretty good. I like it better than the restream thing. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on. Now I've had my water break and we've seen all of the horrific crashes that happen when you remove traffic lights from a intersection. I mean, really th what this does show you is that all you really need to do is, um, is reduce car traffic and car speeds and then everything just kind of works. Greetings from Windsor, Ontario for Canada. Thanks, Sword for Hire. Greetings to you too. Um, Windsor, Ontario. I spent a lot of time there when I was a kid because my, um, my cousin lived there. We were very close. I used to go to Detroit a lot. Put your hands up for Detroit. I'm back from watching the City Nerd video, very funny. Hey, maybe we shouldn't be trying to act super polite towards people who disagree with us, which is a very NJB take. You know, so, I get a lot of people don't like my content because I'm very harsh and I say it like it is and I can be rude at times. But one of the things that really annoyed me when I was in advocacy in um, North America is how fucking spineless everybody was. Everybody was like, oh, I, I know the cars are really important. We're not trying to take your cars away. I know it's okay. It's okay. I, I understand. But, you know, maybe maybe if you could just maybe just take a tiny piece of the road and, 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 and give us some space for our bikes. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, people girl backbone and then that's why I um, I made my videos the way I did because like specifically that kind of like passive neutral let's just talk about the data just drove me fucking nuts while everybody else is like you're murdering people your people are stuck in their homes because of cars I mean really anyway do you own an electric bike yes I'm using one now Windsor is even worse than fake London these days. Yeah, I know. I, I was there actually um, last summer for a funeral. Uh, no, not last summer. 
last December, a uh, year and a half ago. That North American advocacy impression was spot on. <laughs> Thanks, American Meat, sir. Hey, name <laughs> again for the super chat. Five, five dollars. Man, you are just rocking the super chats today. I'd rather live in Europe. California sucks. I'm paying European level of taxation for what? Bureaucracy to train in nowhere? Well, you know, yeah, if you live in California, then you, um, your taxes are subsidizing very wealthy boomers who bought in their houses when they were cheap and then voted against raises in property taxes. So that's, who, that's what you're getting for your money in California. It's great. <sighs> Congressman recently proposed 215 billion only for high speed rail, that would be cool. So many times that money for public transit gets, you know, they'll do some public transit project, but oh yeah, while we're here, we're just gonna widen these roads next to it. And... Cycling advocates may have been like that. Yeah. Most of the Dutch have something like, finally someone who says what no niceties needed, yeah. And learning Polish is also not easy. Yes, that is true. I tried it. I'm not good at it. 